So we thought and thought and thought, trying to figure it out, and he came up with something. Yeah. Hi gang, uh, it's Jim and Sharon uh, with Drive to Ride and uh, we're going to talk to you today about cell extenders. What's a cell extender? Well, a cell extender is a device that you buy that acts kind of like a repeater for your cell phones. So if you're in a, a place where you don't get really good reception, like you can... one bar. Like one bar, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, you can add a cell extender to your electronic equipment repertoire and uh, it might help. Um, the reason that we bought one originally, it was last year, mm -hmm. we were in, uh, in Oregon, in Pacific City, Oregon, and uh, the cell reception there is not very good. In fact, it's almost non-existent. <laughs> and we had, a, uh, we had a, a reason we needed to make phone calls. We had a, a problem with the motorcycle, and uh, somebody was working on it in Salem which is on the other side of the mountains from Pacific City. And uh, so we needed to talk to him. It was like almost uh, an hour and a half, two hour drive to get over there. But we needed to keep communication going with him. So because the cell reception was so bad, we decided to go buy us a cell extender and we bought the uh, the WeBoost, which is a great product. Yeah. And uh, we installed it and it worked fine. did exactly what we wanted to do. We were able to make phone calls and keep up with the, uh, the people that were working on the bike and it worked out really well. Yeah, we found that if you had like one bar, you'd go to maybe three, you know, so it was really helpful. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now, if you had zero dead zone, ain't gonna help. Yeah, yeah, the one thing that everybody will tell you about uh, a cell extender uh, is that if there's no signal, it's not gonna help you. <laughs> uh, it can't make cell signals out of nothing. So there's gotta be something there for it to amplify. And, um, yeah, basically that's what it does. It is uh, an external antenna that uh, picks up the cell signal tap from the tower and regenerates it inside your rig next to your to your telephone. Like a repeater kind of thing. Yeah, it yeah. is. It repeats it, and there is an amplifier that picks up the signal from your, your your transmitted signal from your telephone. It amplifies it and sends it out that antenna, that same external antenna so that the cell tower gets a stronger signal from you. So it works in both directions. And it works really well. And ours worked well until one day. Until one day. <laughs> yeah, we had mounted it, as most people do, or at least many people do, we had mounted the thing on top of our rig, on the access, the roof access ladder. It was one of these ladders, you know, I'm sorry we don't have any pictures of it. Yeah, But it's one of these it. ladders, you know, it goes up and then it does that. There's a little hook up at the top, right on top of the roof. And on that hook is where we mounted it. So uh, it worked great there. And then we ran the coax uh, uh, across the, the roof and over the side and then we had chosen a place where the amplifier box was going to mount inside the rig. We drilled a hole through the rig. Yep, had a through hole. The wall, and, um, and they give you the little dress grommet thing that goes through. Uh, keeps the weather out and that's where we mounted it worked fine it came into the cabinet which was kind of nice too so as we rode it was in the cabinet yeah exactly right you it was know. hidden you couldn't see it um not the only it downside bad. with the wire we had a few times the wire came loose we had to rehook it a few times the coax mm -hmm. yeah but then one fateful day yeah back to the one day <laughs> um we were in pennsylvania and we were going down a, a road that had some low-hanging trees and one of the trees got the antenna and wiped it out wow. um, yeah we actually didn't know it until <laughs> probably the next morning i was outside drinking my cup of coffee and just looked up and there was the <laughs> antenna hanging down in pieces yeah poor so thing. we had to replace it okay fast forward to today we have a new rig yeah a taller rig yeah. we are in this momentum 376 th and it's probably a foot taller than the uh, uh, reflection that we had so we decided we did not want to install it the same way don't want to go on the roof and i didn't want any holes yeah so that was kind of like i said let's figure out some way so i have to put holes in my home and have it on top of the roof because yeah. they want to get on the roof exactly right yeah 
So we thought and thought and thought, trying to figure it out, and we came up with something. And we came up with some different yeah. products, and uh, so this is what we came up with, and we'll show some pictures right here. Um, we decided that what we wanted to do was be able to attach a a mast, a, a pole, yep. uh, with uh, vacuum clamps to the side of the rig. Obviously this is not something that will be permanent. We'll take it down whenever we move. Um, and we found these clamps at, at the, the show. Tampa RV show. That was fun. Now they're not cheap. Uh, they're like $45 or $44 a piece. Uh, but they accomplish a purpose. Uh, and they hold they really do well. Hold. Yeah. yeah. So we bought those and then we went to one of the local, like a Home Depot, Lowe's thing, and we got a 10 foot length of Schedule 40 PDC. 2 inch PDC pipe. Yeah. Uh, I say Schedule 40 as opposed to the the other one, which I think is Schedule 20, because the wall thickness is, is a little heavier. stronger. Because we know yeah. up there the wind's going to blow it a little bit. You want some some strength to it. Yeah. So that's why the heavier. Yeah. And then we um, uh, attached the antenna to the top of it using the clamps, same clamps that we've always had, and uh, ran the coax down through the middle of the pipe, actually. We yeah. drilled a couple of holes in the pipe, run it down. And um, and you can see, we'll, we'll show that on. Yeah. We'll try to get pictures and kind of show. We took it off to the side, coming out of that. We didn't go all the way out the bottom. Yeah. 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 And. Um, ran it through a window that we can keep mostly closed and uh, into the amplifier box and we'll show you how we did that. We mounted that inside in the kind of the entertainment center of the um, of the rig and that's where we'll have our indoor antennas up there as well. Now then, this is not a permanent solution. This will be taken down anytime we're moving and the fact is you don't always need it. Sometimes we have great, you know, yeah, horizon so, can be exactly. real strong and a lot, but there are sometimes we're out and it's only one bar, yeah. then we will put it out. Exactly. And that's what I like about it. It doesn't have to be on the rig all the time and not at all when we're traveling, so I don't have to worry about a tree knocking it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah it won't be there. It won't be there. <laughs> so in installing it, we wanted to make sure that I could install it using the little step ladder that I use to hitch and unhitch the rig. Uh, just a little two-step thing. I didn't want to have to get out the big ladders. We uh, The 10-foot length of uh, a PVC pipe uh, gets the antenna up probably, I'm looking, three. maybe three feet yeah. above the top of the roof. And so that's it's not, fine. It's, it's not hugely, it's not great big high, but great big high. It's enough. I it's mean, not our other one was high. just on top of, you know, the camper. Yeah. So it wasn't that high either. So it's yeah. actually higher. And it is. It's higher, and the yeah. higher you can get it, the, the better, you know, because yeah. you're you're uh, clearing obstructions and trees and stuff like that. So uh, it works pretty well. Right now we're up at the uh, in, in Wildwood, Florida, at the Three Flags Thousand Trails Park, and the cell reception here is okay. Eh, one, <laughs> one or two bars. Yeah. And so uh, we did put it up mostly because we just fabricate. We want to make sure. Check it, it out. It, everything was working, and it does. And it adds one or two bars to the signal we got. Um, do we and actually need it here? Probably not. But it's nice to have a little bit stronger, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. You and, and the way that you tell if the uh, cell, uh, the cell extender is doing you any good is just run a speed check. Uh, they don't always add speed. Sometimes mm -hmm. uh, it can add a couple of bars, but your speed isn't as good. Yeah. Don't ask me to get into why that is. It's but complicated because it sometimes I could have three bars and couldn't get internet. And I'm like, what? This doesn't make sense. And then mm -hmm. he told me about the speed thing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Just run a speed check. On it. <laughs> All it has to do with. Uh, we're not going to get into it. Yeah, that. whatever. Um, <laughs> but uh, so just check to see if it's going to do you any good. And uh, there you have it. So yeah. the uh, we will give you. I don't re actually remember the model name of the uh, right. of the WeBoost yeah. cell extender we got so we will add that in here somewhere. We'll look it up. <laughs> and um, then everything else is right in the kit with the WeBoost and uh, or at Home Depot so there you are. Yeah we find it helpful and I hope this is helpful it's not hard to do not a bit. you know and adding drill holes and running on top of your roof and climbing roofs. No this was simple it, it took us uh, just not, not long, a little afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, putting it up. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. we have some neighbors walking by, so I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. So. Okay, stop the presses. We missed something. <laughs> well, you know, our other one got knocked off by a tree. It fell down and broke. So I said, you know, you never know when wind can come and blow and, you know, hurricanes in Florida. <laughs> so I wanted to I'm protect it. I'm not going to be in it. Florida during a hurricane, lady. I got <laughs> wheels. I'm leaving. But anyway, I said, what if a wind took it and it could blow? And so what we did, we you'll see that uh, tether. It's a it's a wire. Well, I don't think it's wire. It's what? It's rope? just a nylon rope. cord. Nylon cord. And if that thing would, perchance, let loose or fall, it would catch. Yeah. So our our range, you know, little weebos wouldn't get broke, basically. So that's why I did it. Yeah. And another thing we are thinking and we haven't got yet is a cap. Because if the rain comes in into the tube, it's hollow, it get wet, and I don't want it wet in there with the, so mm -hmm. we want to get a cap. Yeah, we'll put a, a cap on top yeah, of it. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. And we'll glue it down just so it, water can go down there. Yeah, the, uh, the, the idea of the tether was really that we don't necessarily trust those vacuum clamps altogether. I mean, right now they've been on there for three days, so I, they're fine. But in the event that they let go, the uh, uh, the way that it's situated right now with the coax going into the window, the top of it would topple over, and we're just concerned that it could break the antenna. So what we did was uh, just tethered it up towards the top and attached it to uh, actually one of our toppers, slide toppers, uh, just a, a short length of uh, nylon cord, just to hold it, keep it from smashing to the ground if it ever came loose. So that's what she's talking about. Yeah. And it's a good idea yeah, uh, because these hurt. are vacuum clamps and you know they're not permanent so um, it's a good idea. And since we move so much, we, we stay a week or two and then we move so it's not going to be up that long too. Yeah. Like you know if you were in six months at a place it might not yeah, be as good. Yeah you probably want a different solution. Yeah so before it works for us we can take it down. It's not taking up a lot of space. Yeah. And no holes in my home. No holes in the room. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's We thought our... this would be helpful, and we're hoping that you, you've got something. And, you know, we like having the extra strength of the signal. Mm -hmm. It's been very helpful. I always want to be able to make a phone call out, and if the kids want, or my mom, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, then that's a little unsettling. Sure. So I like having that. In our connected society, we like being connected. Being connected. So there we are. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I think that's all we've got for you. Um, hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, give us a subscribe, and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay. I don't want to look big right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm filming it, and I'm big, fun. and then you're smaller. Well, you're smaller. Huh? No, you're fine. Awesome. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> now we look about the same. Okay, now we look about the same, she says. <laughs> so if you can't tell us apart, this is the reason she... I'm the one in pink. <laughs> she's the one in pink, yeah, that's right.